import order in React matters. As, as a mostly Java developer, I've gotten used to letting the IDEs take care of um, the import statements at the top of the code, right? But then the other day I realized import statements in React has to be like ordered in a particular way. So the CSS loads in order. Let me give you a brief background and, and then I'll talk about what the issue was and what you need to do to solve it. Okay, so I have, I'll start with a simple um, HTML and CSS page. This is as, as simple as it gets when it comes to web development. This is my index.html, this is my index.css. And in, in my CSS file, I have two styles in here, foo color one and foo color two. Okay, so um, if I just say foo color one in here, the background color should be pink. Yep, as you can see, the background color in here in this web page or in this um, header is currently pink. And if I change it to foo color two, it will pick up this style and it will be orange. But what about how, like, what if I do foo color one and foo color two in here? Okay, it's still orange. Why? Because orange in here comes after pink, right? They both set the same property, but this one comes later. So you're gonna ask, what if I swap these around? What if I call, what if I uh, inject full color one after full color two? This is not gonna change anything because this is how cascading style sheets work. The rule that comes later in the CSS file wins. So if I swap these around, then you're gonna see the background color um, change to change into pink. Okay, so now that we've built up this background, now, now um, let's move into the more complex problem. Let, let's say you are, um, you are developing a React application, React website, and um, you have a component that contains another component, which is very common in, when you're doing React development. Um, and let's say this component this child component of yours um, has its own classes, own class names and everything, but it also allows its own style sheet to be extended. This is the uh, CSS for my foo component in here. And I have exactly the same styles that I showed you in the previous example. I have foo color one and foo color two. So let's go back to that React application now it's the same exa exact same web page it just says hello world um, this component that I had in here it just prints out hello world in a header tag okay so let me put foo color one in here and it's exactly the same deal so if I put foo color one in there and then if I do foo color two you're gonna see it, it changes to orange. And if I swap the order around to be like this, now you're gonna see the background color change to pink. Okay, now that we've understood that as well, let's move on to the next one. So I'm trying to inject the class name, right? I want to be able to override the background color of this, of this um, component via, uh, via its parent. I want to allow that parent component to override the child component styles if required. Okay, so let's go back to the parent component. So this is the parent component that uses the foo component and that's redundant. Okay, so this is as simple as it gets, right? And I have in my app.module.css, I have this light blue um, background color defined. And if you remember foo component.module.css, I have these two defined and I've assigned these to be the styles for my foo component, right? They're assigned in here. But whatever class name that I give in here should be able to override the background property. Okay, how do we do that? That's where it gets very tricky and interesting. So let's go back to app.js. And in here, if I say class name bar color. So, okay, so if I say that, then the background color is going to turn light blue, right? Yes, that's expected because um, in my app.js, 
in here, this CSS import comes after foo components import. So foo component gets imported and while foo component is getting imported, its CSS gets imported. And after that finishes, app module.css gets imported. So the background color that is specifying app.module.css overrides the background color that's specified in here. Okay, so, but if I swap these around, which is very common if you let your IDE take care of all the style sheets and all the imports for you, I use IntelliJ IDEA for my React developments. Okay, so in this case, you see the background color is not the color that is specified in bar color. It's because this import comes first and then when foo component is being imported, its style sheet um, gets imported after app.module.css. And that's why you should keep this order into consideration when you're um, overriding child component styles. So if you are overriding a style, make sure your CSS uh, gets imported after the component gets imported. This is a very simple and easy mistake to do if you let your IDE take care of the imports. And if you use like most of the IDEs or most some plugins for uh, Visual Studio Code probably does this as well. Um, when they're importing things automatically, they might just add it into the next line automatically without you knowing. And then you would probably spend hours investigating or trying to understand why your style doesn't override the child's style. So this is why. And yeah. I hope you learned something new and I will be using this knowledge in my personal website's development and I, I hope I can see you on one of those streams as well. I'll share the link for the playlist in the description and yeah, I hope you learned something new.